Vermeer was trying to emulate effects that he would have seen in an optical device called a camera obscura. Some of those qualities of this immediacy of looking out of this more momentary character of this painting may, in, in fact, be partially explained by the inspiration of the camera obscura. Now, he didn't really paint from a camera obscura. He certainly didn't copy the camera obscura, but it was a way of seeing, it was a way of enriching the way he saw that he then would apply and create and adapt in paintings such as this. Camera obscura means darkened chamber. Its images were seen as magical in the 17th century, often described as nature's paintings. Its process is simple. When the camera faces an image on the outside, rays of light enter into the darkened chamber through a convex lens on the front of the box, projecting an inverted and reversed image on the surface of the glass viewing window at the back of the camera. The image contains optical effects, such as diffused or soft highlights. This is an actual black and white image of a lion head finial as seen through a camera obscura. The impact of this optical effect can clearly be seen when we place it next to Vermeer's painted finial in The Girl with the Red Hat. <laughs>